Hello everyone, welcome back to Landscaping. Today we will be finishing up the last of our fall leaf cleanups. We'll be heading over to the shop this morning here in the 2017 Chevy Duramax. Five minutes before I left the house I did use a remote start, such a handy feature which came with the high country. Today we will be using the walker mower, the John Deere demo mower with a bagger, the skag leaf vacuum and a few other pieces of equipment. We've had a very busy few weeks here with the company going around cleaning up all the leaves and today is our final day and then we get ready for the winter season coming later on this week. And it looks like the Duramax is pretty low here on diesel, let's stop and get her filled on up. The Duramax is filling up here, it will be a few minutes, so why don't we take a look at this setup. This looks to be another long competitor here in town. It's always nice to say hi, be friendly to, to the competition, also sometimes work together. And this is one pretty cool setup here, it looks to be a Cub Cadet 72 inch zero turn with a bagger. And this is one very unique trailer here, wow look at that, almost like a mini dump insert built onto the trailer. And that is a pretty handy, you back right up and unload, and look at that, he has this very nice nice 99 f350 with that 73 oh, wow this is one sweet uh, setup here really do like it he is a one-man show which is pretty awesome and the duramax just got filled up here now this truck is a pretty big guzzler uh, for diesel here wow 84 dollars wow that is one huge bill uh, but uh, it's a work truck and we've actually been putting it to work a lot recently if you do find today's video entertaining, please drop a like, it's much appreciated here as it helps out with the YouTube algorithms. Later on this week, we will be back here with the landscaping series. We gotta get ready for the next season, and snow is coming very soon, of which I am excited for. And this Chevy Duramax here is becoming one of my favorite trucks and farm sims. Really do like the detail and everything about it, especially this body style just looks so awesome, and I can't wait to continue to use it and put it to work. We have arrived here now our Cummins dump truck is a pretty much a full of leaves uh, we have a few more lawns today that we have to fit in so that's kind of why it's outside really don't want it smelling up uh, the uh, shop area there so let's hop in get the Cummins turned on should be firing right up yeah no problem sweet and we will be once again using the Skagly vacuum we've been working this pretty hard and this has been awesome maybe one day we'll buy one but for now uh, leasing it makes the most sense here now that does have a lot of horsepower as well uh, which comes in pretty handy but let's get the door uh, opened up here and get loaded up We'll be using the 2017 Chevy Duramax rotor cab here with the 18 foot utility trailer. This is a big tax. We do have a few skag blowers. We'll be taking the walker mower with the bagger. One of the best mowers for leaf cleanups in my opinion. Uh, these are well known across the country for their collection systems. And we'll be using this and we are using a brand new demo mower. So cool that uh, people send us mowers to demo. That is just so awesome here. Now it might be a tight fit on the trailer. Just kind of realize that. Oh yeah, it will definitely be, but no problem, we'll make it work here. So this is a demo for today, this is the Jack Moose John Deere Mow It. Uh, this is pretty cool, this is actually on console, and I will be doing some more console videos, and I really do appreciate all of the support there. I can't wait for more console, uh, showing guys what you could do over there, but for now, we're back here on the PC, and this is one pretty cool one. We do have a full functioning bagger as well, and this is a tight fit, just going to make it pretty close. And we're all loaded up. Everything fits, which is awesome. I did end up putting one skag there in the bed. And then we were able to angle the walker just a little bit uh, here. Now, with these leaf cleanups, we do get a lot more money. And they do require a lot more equipment. And that is why we do charge so much. And we do have to haul away lots and lots of leaves. The dump fees and everything. Uh, it's a lot to get going here with these leaf cleanups here. But it's always a fun time of the year. I really do enjoy doing these. And I might actually have a few real-life fall leaf cleanups which should be pretty awesome let's get the following mod all set up and we'll catch you guys when we're ready to head on out and we're ready to get going here. Now with my videos going forward, I am trying to do a little bit more editing, a little bit more fancy uh, type of videos here for all of you guys, but try to stay to the original uh, type of videos here, which is awesome. And I would like to thank all of you guys here for the continued support on the daily videos. We are growing, growing faster and faster, and we are getting closer and closer to 100,000 subscribers, which I'm pretty excited for. The landscaping series will be continuing. Now my kind of thinking is we'll kind of go 
into the winter months here with the landscaping company and then on the Xbox we'll continue to do kind of just uh, landscaping videos property maintenance videos and we do have some new series coming soon but this is one awesome setup today so much equipment uh, between the two mowers we always need a backup mower just in case one gets clogged damaged out on the field we have another one ready to go here but today we'll be using both which is awesome and the most of our work will be in the subdivision here we have just around four or five houses in here and then that will conclude our fall leaf cleanups we've been going at it for quite a few weeks here it's so nice to kind of get to the end uh, it's always nice but at the same time we're going to miss cleaning up the leaves again uh, but uh, up first we'll be doing this house here now what I'm going to do is probably just back the Cummins or even just drive it into the driveway there I think that will be the easiest most helpful thing for us to do and that will be awesome here but wow this is one awesome setup here I really do take a lot of effort for these videos uh, trying to make them the best use unique equipment and realistic equipment yeah this will be good that way we don't make a huge mess we're dumping piles anything like that here but there we go we got that which is great so why don't we get going I do want to use a brand new demo John Deere this is a pretty expensive one uh, so it's nice that we do get to demo it We'll hop on in here. Now, we do have to get both the uh, parts of this turned on here, which are a little bit uh, different uh, than usual here. But we'll get it fired up. This Jack Moose is so, so sweet. I did feature it in a review if you guys would like to check it out here. But let's see if we get the blade dropped and get everything turned on. We got both the bagger and the blades turned on here. Now, what I really do like about this is that it is a little bit slower here, which is pretty realistic. We haven't gotten much rain here in the last few weeks. You guys can see quite a lot of dust coming up and off this mower here, which is pretty sweet here. I'm really am excited to have a full functioning zero turn, especially on console uh, like this, which is awesome here. But a busy day, uh, three, four more in the subdivision. And then I can't wait to kind of get ready for the next season. Now, if you guys haven't already, I do recommend you go give me a follow over on Instagram. I am posting every single day over there uh, some pretty cool sneak peeks and updates about the channel. Now, I think we'll just kind of do the front yard here. It is kind of heavy with leaves, so I think once we do this last little bit in this front yard area, we will uh, switch, and it looks like we are full here. Wow, that was a pretty quick, simple one. I do actually have it on uh, kind of full uh so let's see if we get go around this here get it emptied on out and then we'll keep going let's come around side here we want to go just to where the uh, pipe area is and we'll get going on unloading this here this is so sweet look at how big that pile is we are definitely doing a lot of mowing here today a lot of collecting and we do have to get that turned on here what I really do like about this mower is how it fully functions I think the grass catcher just needs to be just a little bit bigger here for us but I don't think that's a problem I hope everyone's been having a fantastic day so far here let me know how it is down below my day's been pretty awesome here I'm really excited uh, to be back here with this series this has been a fun series for me and I definitely uh, will be continuing this here uh, going forward and hopefully uh, we can get some more cool uh, new equipment it's almost like Christmas for us when we get equipment it's a lot of fun and I just can't wait for it. let's see if we kind of re-mow this sometimes we do have to it kind of clogs up and other times it just needs to be a, a cut of little bit better here but making really good progress not too much more that needs to be done here this actually does not have too much land which is pretty helpful now on this one we didn't really need to do too much leaf blown there wasn't too many landscape beds really anything like that which is great and uh, that is awesome here so what I'm thinking about doing is I will be finishing up uh, uh, mowing this property and then we'll catch you guys when re we're ready to move on to the next one with a walker we're just about done here at this first house. What we'll do is we'll un get this unloaded, and then I do want to fire up the skag now here. That is so much material. Uh, but for now, let's kind of get this moved out of the way here. Now, the walker, I think, will be pretty quick and easy for us, which should be a good thing. And I think for now, we'll just kind of leave this here. Now, there are a few sections in the grass, especially what we just went over, that will need to be kind of leaf glue because it's just a little bit too much here for the mower. But let's get the skag turned on here. We'll get it fired on up, and we'll get this pile cleared. And just like like that uh, after a few minutes here this vacuum is just so strong it is pretty good here which is awesome before we get going we actually do have to do a little bit of leaf blow in here we'll grab the leaf blower we'll blow all the leaves right in and off the porch now sometimes the properties do need it like this one here other times uh, they do not and I am trying to be as realistic as possible which is a lot of fun for me as well 
Now if you do need to pick up Farm Sim or any of the DLCs, please use the links down below. It's much appreciated as it does help out support the channel. There we go with Leaf Blow in there. We'll put the Leaf Blower away. I really would like a backpack Leaf Blower. That would be so cool. But for now, let's hop on the walker. Like I have touched upon many times here, this walker is well known for fall leaf cleanups. They're so powerful and they're just so handy here for us, which is awesome. We'll get the blades turning and let's get to cleaning this up here. Now with the fall leaf clamps, there's really not much grass to mow. It's mainly just collecting the leaves and all of the debris, even the branches, the small sticks that fall over the yard. And it's also kind of cleaning up those seasonal flowers, the hostas, all of those things uh, we do have to kind of clean up as well. Now let me know down below in the comments guys if you do live in an area where you do get a lot of snow and are you excited for it. I can't wait for so many cool videos. I will be doing some real life videos once again. Uh, I definitely want to do some more snow blowing. Maybe we'll do some other ones as well. And I, I have so many cool videos planned here. It's going to be one epic winter. I can't wait for everything to come here. But with this walker you guys can see we are just so efficient. And this does a little bit of a better job. I will have to say kind of cleaning it all up as well. So I think three, four more passes we'll have to kind of get to emptying here but these fall leaf cleanups are a lot of work a one yard which would take us maybe 15 20 minutes is taking us three plus hours and that is why you guys see we are just getting going on this one here but let me know how you guys are enjoying these videos with the formats a little bit more editing than usual uh, but it's still the original content really want to be just like the original content uh, just better and be more productive and even get more done here in videos here we're just about full wow look at that the walker even though we're just uh, trying to collect everything it's still doing one really good job here with the stripes which is great oh yeah we are pretty much full here so what we'll do is uh, now the skag leaf vacuum is currently on I think it's gonna be easier that as we just unload it will just kind of load right up there now the Cummins is just about full here we'll top it off now dumping this is the dumping fee is three times what we usually pay here it's pretty expensive uh, but it's well worth it here less uh, trips over to the uh, waste management the dump uh, and usually we bring it to a farm that makes compost out of it so luckily uh, the farm gets uh, to kind of uh, get going on that compost quicker this walker here is pretty sweet here and Hopefully for next season we can get some new mowers, some different types of mowers as well, which should be always uh, a goal of mine as well. I do have some things, some models, things like that that we will be working on, but only this back section, not too much left. Wow, it's going pretty quickly when we're working hard and just uh, the time passes so quickly. Now if you guys haven't already, I do ask that you please subscribe, it's much appreciated, it does show that many of you guys are not yet, and if you do subscribe, it really does help out the channel here, lots of things here in the works, some pretty fun things, and some live streams will be coming soon, I can't wait to get back into streaming and sharing some live uh, content and having you guys uh, join on in with me as well, but I think we are just about done here, yeah, we'll get the mower blades uh, turned off here, that's pretty much it here, one busy fall day here, uh, we we actually didn't need the skag leaf uh, blowers but sometimes we do and that is why we do have to bring them but hope you guys enjoyed today's video here getting to use the new John Deere mower here with the bagger along with the walker the skag leaf vacuum and the uh, different trucks thanks for watching stay tuned here for next one and subscribe for more